Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So in the previous video we were done with the APIs at least the response search. Okay now we are going to invoke this API action, API reducer and all these things. Like now we are going to make a call to the response get. I mean response search then we will write a reducer which will give us all the restaurant information and then that information we are going to consume in our front end components. Okay, so front end component we have the restaurant landing page. This is the restaurant page where we need all the information. So this is the restaurant landing page. Here we are going to make a call. This make a call, get the data, and then like here simply if I just explain about this, then we are going to get the data. Like you can use use effect hook to dispatch this action. Okay, get restaurant, and then internally once the data is received, we will just do the filter. We will set all the states like because we have a different blocks, right? Uh, the top ticks, exclusive, premium, vegetarian, non-vegetarian, different sections, right? And we need to show the cards of the restaurants there. So first we will make a call. We'll get the data from Redux. We will set these filters. We will filter out all the information put uh, the data in the premium, veg, total topics and all these things and we will show that on the UI. Before that we need to make an API action. So this is our API action, API given restaurant and here we can pass search and then we need to pass the type, type we will be getting. So here we can pass the type so it will give us the data for a particular type okay so what we can do is we can set the filter whenever we are getting the type so our reducer is going to be a little complex because every time based on the type we are going to get a new set of data and we are going to override that data in the reducer state. Okay, so what we'll do is so this is our Redux state. Just an example how we are doing it. This is our restaurant reducer. So this is a restaurant reducer initial state here. We can actually set the, the whole state also, like what we are getting in the top picks. This is also empty for now. Edge empty. Okay, I mean, whatever the restaurant types you have, you can filter out that information here. Or what you can do is you get all the restaurant information and do the reset every time whenever you are getting a result. That is another way. So, it's better that we do the filtering on to the UI side. Okay, we just give you the restaurant information, and whenever you are changing or whenever you are clicking onto this button here, if you by default we will load all the topics, then you click on exclusive, we will show the exclusive, premium, veg, and see all. Okay, this is how it is going to work. When you click on it, we are going to make an API call. That is the one way or you fetch all restaurant information do the filter okay that is another way or whenever you click on to this you just update the particular section of redux state on only exclusive only premium only veg like this or keep all the other data already in the redux state so i think this one is better we hold all these state in the redux state and whenever you click on to this okay there is some changes coming let's Update it. Okay, so what we can do here is we are getting the restaurants information. So here we can say this this can be our Redux state. Let's say for example we have this premium exclusive. This is our Redux state. Now 
whenever the login success is coming we will be getting the data and then we have to get the type okay so we will reset based on the type so this is the global redux state for the restaurant if we see that we are getting the type as so what we can do here is we can also set the type and the type information okay for which type we are getting this result so that should be that would be a little bit clean that we can send in the payload only so inside payload we are sending two information data and type for this particular type this is the response okay so if there is an error error is coming we don't need to reset the redux state if error is there means we didn't get the, the fresh data but we still are uh, holding the the previous data now this is a response reducer action dot type and then we have action dot payload so if uh, what is the type here is we do mostly have these two types success and failure in terms of failure we can have one state which is error and it's an empty object you will set uh, something whatever you want here and here once we get the failure this is for the failure and we don't need a default case default means return the current state so here we have to write a immutable logic to update the redux state so all the restaurant means whatever the data we are getting that we can put here action dot payload and the this is the restaurant information now we have to do the filtration based on what type it is right so here we have to write this logic if action dot payload obviously is not going to be null dot type based on this we will return the new data if this is success we are we are setting the, the restaurant with the whole object and then based on the key value what we are doing here is we will just check if this type is topx right so restaurant we have updated and now what we will do is in the current state so we have updated the restaurant and 